welcome back. It is a beautiful morning here at Stonebriar and today is gonna be really fun. We have something that is very different from what you guys are used to seeing. I have two guests on the channel today. Hi, so nice to meet you. Oh, I don't I do not do the handshake thing. Yes, there you go. My name is Jake, he, him, his. No, we're having guests over tonight. Get up there and clean your room. No, we're not having dinner in your room, but what if before dessert they wanna see all of the child's bedrooms? We, so, Jameson! Really What's up, Mike? We glad to be here. Thanks for having Kennedy. Us. What we're gonna be doing today is basically like a back off challenge. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be playing six holes. My goal is to shoot even with these guys essentially trying to do everything possible to get me not to shoot even far. So whatever they can say, whatever they can do, they can't touch me or my ball, but anything outside of that is free game. Okay. Yeah. Promise won't touch you. So <laughs> what <laughs> 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 I'm excited to have these guys back on the channel. They just started a new golf brand, Mood Swings Golf, which will be linked in the description. So make sure you check that out. Just some really cool stuff we got going out here, and today is going to be a lot of fun. We won't touch you. Okay. Physically. Physically. We won't yeah. touch the hearts of America. We're going to get in there, though. And thanks for having us back on the golf channel where we're not allowed to golf. <laughs> yeah. The first hole is a par four. It's about 360 something yards. Two iron off the first. I'm going to try to go just left of that bunker. Uh oh, there's a bird flying towards your oh, ball. And the Titanic. <laughs> the Titanic. I'm king of the world! Oh, wow. All right. Okay. Wow, this guy loves Titanic. <laughs> yeah, Dodge the in. iceberg. Yeah, you yeah. weren't cut out. Nope. Okay. <laughs> sure do. You gotta ramp this up. Okay. I got one in the fairway to start. We'll see. I think this is gonna get pretty interesting. 120 yards. That's a great number. Is that a comfortable range for you? Yeah, it is. It is really comfortable. It's a nice little full 52 degree uh, with I'd these. Swing hard. Mm -hmm. Pretty soft. I'd swing really hard. You're sponsored by Puma, yeah? Well, Cobra, yeah. Okay. Sorry, I just saw your hat and assumed Puma. <laughs> yeah. That's dumb of me. I wish I was sponsored by a house cat. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. one of the weaker <laughs> creatures out there. I couldn't even pick a Puma out of a lineup. Sounds like an automatopoeia. Boom. Okay. So this guy is hard to crack. Gosh. Good job, Micah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. It's a little long there. Breaking to <laughs> Really use the shadows to our advantage, eh? <laughs> yeah. How old are we? What was it, what was it looking like? Uh, it's definitely breaking to the left. Yeah. I like to think of the hole as the clock, and it's going to come in about 4 o'clock. Playing out here with a guy who uses a sundial. Coming at 4 yeah. Neanderthal out here. Man bun looks good though. You look like if Jason Momoa had six inch inseams. Oh, the mess up. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> For par, wow. This is not easy. It's not an easy putt. Going this way a lot. I'm kidding, it's going this way. Dang it. Ah, <laughs> hey, hey let's go to left. start with a par. I got five holes left. Let's see if I can squeak a couple there. birdies out of here. We're going to be doing a 2v1 over on the Mood Things channel. It's going to be me versus Jake and Trey. That could get real interesting. We've got some work to do. i got to stay dialed in. Mike is up there. We're kind of strategizing right Strong now. Strong par from him out of the gate. But he showed there was a fr fr frizzers. That's not the word. <laughs> Fissure. Yeah, April Fissures. <laughs> some he showed vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities, yes. And we've also learned some new intel. We learned he was homeschooled. Got to use that to our advantage. Mm -hmm. Love to see this poor guy try to drink out of a water fountain. No way he knows how to do that. Yeah. Where's he going? Oh, he's, oh, he's peeing in the woods. Oh, he's peeing in the woods. Hole two. Is, this is cool. He doesn't wake up and go to the bathroom? Been here 10 minutes. Is this part of your strategy? You know, they've had a couple good chirps in there, but they're gonna have to ramp it up if they want to try to get me to get shaken up a little bit. Can't ride on most roller coasters. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah that's funny. <laughs> We're strategizing over here. <laughs> Don't watch how the sausage is made. Yeah. All right, here we are, hole two. Goes to the right, I'm gonna hit driver. Try to just peel it off of that left bunker. How tall are you, Micah? Five eight? Five eight and a half, five nine in the morning. Is it hard to get fitted for? clubs for a guy who can't ride on most roller coasters. Where'd you get fitted? Where they shot the Hobbit? They got a pro shop over there? <laughs> Seriously, you're tall. You're a big, big strong man. <laughs> we're getting in his head. We're starting, we're starting to fall Yeah, this is the long, it's a long game here. Mm -hmm. Got a little bit of a lip to possibly have to worry about here. I've never hit out of this bunker. What are you lasering, Jake, with your eyes? 185. What's, what's like your grandparents think of your YouTube stuff? They like it? Your grandpa was in a war bunker. Look at you. 
Yeah, different bunker. Making little videos for a living. What a disgrace. Call us the Hitler shot right here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. We, yeah, we're getting in there. Nazis have a way of doing that. That was all, like, I just, <laughs> I'm glad it stayed short of the creek. But. <laughs> Dang it, Tig. All right, well, I still have a chance to make par here for sure. 49 yards. Got a little 60 degree. Missed the green from 120 yards. Here you go, Micah. Nice little pitch shot. Nice little pitch shot. Nice smooth swing. Really, really pitch slap this one. With a P. Oh, it's, oh, oh, it's short. No, it's really good. Okay, that's, that's pretty solid. Probably this is a par Bogey three, though. I got a par putt, so that's what I'm going to focus on. Just got to focus on making a par. <laughs> Some of this stuff is just my brain can't keep up. He two putts this, and he's over par, and we've done our job. Mm -hmm. So, gone after his family, we've gone after his height, maybe hair next. Have seen the down before? I haven't. Perfect. No, I think you have to pay for it. It's like a, it's like behind a paywall. Cameo Plus thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and only fans for golfers. Only, only pins. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling real confident about making this par. The greens are rolling good. If I can just get the right line, it's uphill. I could be aggressive. A little swing juice here from Chick-fil-A. Why don't you get in there and make, why don't you just confirm if it's dead straight or not? Yeah, it feels pretty straight. Yeah. That's Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want to be the one putting it. Confirmed. Honestly, they're drilling for oil about yeah. 100 yards away, so that's going to do plenty. We're definitely not profiting on this video, but we contracted that out today. <laughs> Ordeal. We're probably going to get sued. There he goes. He's lining it up. Random. Oh my gosh, Aaron Drive. They should have yelled. Not cool. They should have, sorry, yell four next time, please. Here, I'll pick these up. Sorry. Let me get these balls. Oh, he left it short. It wasn't the second one that got me. It was the first one that like went toward the hole and went back. And yeah. I was like. <laughs> I forgot that I, I have one of these balls in my bag that we used for a video one time. That's like an un, unputtable ball. Yeah, I, I was like thinking it just was a really weird. It's He's weird. like, this guy's got like the witchcraft. Birdie. That's a bogey, unfortunately. We have a par five next, and I feel yeah. very confident in my ability to make birdie here and get back to even through three holes. Mental focus, Tig, come on. All right, I need to stay focused in. I need to hit a good drive here. Um, I'm going to try to peel it just off of this left. There's like a white house straight ahead that you see right in between the trees. I'm going to try to get a draw. Mike, I noticed you were drinking uh, Chick fil A coffee this morning. Is that because you're homeschooled? Were you homeschooled? Which came first, the Chick-fil-A or the whole? It's kind of a chicken or the egg. Uh-oh. Oh. oh that, did he cut it too much? Did mommy teach you that? <laughs> Gosh, that's going to be really close. Yeah, man. It's got to be weird not wearing pajamas to work, huh? He, he hasn't looked me in the eyes yet when we're talking. <laughs> I hit it really good, and it just cut. And from back here, it might be OK, but it's going to be really close. You, you guys might have got me there. The Chick-fil-A thing really. That, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. This is not good. I don't see anything yet. It is hazard, so I can drop up here. But that's not ideal on a par five. You got a vice, Tig? Yeah, there she is. And if I hit that, I don't even know if I can get it back to the fairway. I mean, geez, can you hit a fairway? But if I drop, I can't like, do anything either. Some sort of reverse punch shot, which is usually a misdemeanor. Oh. oh, interesting. Kind of the John Henry. I think he's going to jackhammer this one. He's chopping wood. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I got to take a drop. A drop right Great. Here. Great decision, Micah. If you if you keep hitting it into the rough, though, do you think you'll get a brand deal with Manscaped? He's got about as much hair as a puma. Oh, yeah, you, that you don't want to keep the shears off the puma. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that, was that, was, that was hot. <laughs> this was supposed to be a birdie hole, and now it's not a birdie hole. <laughs> my job is done. See if I can get up and down. So cool coming back out here to Stonebriar because I actually used to work here. I have so much like gratitude for what I do now because I used to mow the fairways, I used to hand rake all these bunkers. It would take me like five, five, six hours pretty much every single morning and now coming out here and playing, it just really puts things in perspective to me and it makes me extremely thankful for what I do. I got this back into a really good position actually. 92 yards, that is a perfect number. His mom taught him science. <laughs> it's awesome. A little bit. Okay. Hey, I bet you can pre-putt from there. Yeah. Bogey confirmed. Yeah. I'm okay with that after that stupid drive I just did. It's a great place to leave myself. I left myself with an uphill putt again. I can be aggressive. Hopefully I can make this and uh, stay at one over four. All right, what are we thinking? Whoa. I'm thinking I'm just I'm gonna make it. Oh, we should do that when we putt. 
Yeah, so. I never thought of it that way. He's reading it. Again, prize the homeschooler can read. Yeah. Mike, you got a hair tie I can borrow? Not at the moment, unless you want to use mine. He walked by me, I got a whiff of tea tree. My wife uses the same stuff. It is good. It she is. loves it. Yeah, it is. I mean, you and your wife use the same shampoo or? The, the Liver right. King and Joe Rogan. When he's looking for balls in the weeds. He, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that feels <Okay>. good. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Like a recovery. Okay. At this very moment, I don't even remember what they were saying because I'm, uh, I was so dialed in. Three holes left. I'm one over par. I got two par fours and a par three to make this happen and make a birdie out of those three. All right, we're halfway through. He just made a big time putt. Big putt. So it's time to start bringing out the big guns. Yeah, ramp it up a notch. Let's go. Mike, I got extra balls if you need them to keep losing them. Just holler. Okay. <laughs> yeah. D-Box can be scary. So. Yeah, I got a pair of them if you need them. 400 yard par four, I believe. It sets up well for my driver, so I'm gonna try to hit a little cut up the left side. Where are the balls on a cobra? <laughs> I've never seen a male snake. How do you know? Ever since the fall, you got rid of them. <laughs> you learned that growing up. Here we go. In the, in the kitchen? <laughs> Well, actually, I don't know if many people know that I was homeschooled. Maybe they're going to be like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Because <that laughs> I actually good. don't, like, left and right, I don't know. I don't, yeah, was I it like a unit I, you missed? Or? <laughs> I don't think it's because I was homeschooled. I think it's just because I have a little bit of uh, dyslexia. Thank God you can go for it with it. <laughs> <laughs> like you're not very employable. Yeah. So. <laughs> All right, boss, I can do whatever you need. But left and right, I, I'm at a loss. <clears throat> oh, fake swing there. He's in his head. Oh, no. I mean, it's okay, but that is not good. Hard path only, I appreciate you hitting it by it. I started thinking left and right, and then I was thinking fade goes right, and, and then I just double crossed it. Too much thinking, too much thinking. Gotta let the subconscious take over and swing. You clearly offered him free golf balls in the tee box. Here we are. He needs golf balls. Yeah, we're offering him a lifeline. He's not taking it. He's got some sort of twig in his mouth. Where did that come from? Nature's toothpick? What's he doing? Are you full leave it to beaver? Yeah, like you're playing with John Wayne or something. Should we help or just find it? Yeah, it's got Ricky on it. 122 yards from listening to the subconscious, figuring out exactly what needs to happen. I'm your subconscious now. Uh, listen to me, I have some questions. Oh. I already Just, stepped off. Wow. That's not good. Grand homeschooled. There's no way he's vaccinated. <laughs> no wonder we had to come to Texas to film this. Mm. A beautiful tea time in Oregon and he <laughs> wouldn't respond to us. Ooh. Ooh. Nice little punch shot. Yeah. On the green. Probably take him uh, two more doses to get him in the hole. <laughs> hey, hey, way to boost that one up there. <laughs> <laughs> this has just taken a turn. <laughs> oh man. You know a guy named Joe Gilland? Oh, God. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. He doesn't, okay, he doesn't hey, move. I don't want to get touching. physical. Yeah. <laughs> no touching, no touching. No touching. All right, he's lining it up. Big putt, man. This has got a little Ooh. twig in his mouth. I would think it'd be a stump. Don't forget to factor in the wind. Mm. No wonder he missed it. He thinks every putt's flat. Yeah. Who's your favorite athlete and why is it? He Woo! did it. Great he par. He still did it. What a two oh, putt. Man. Great par. There was a lot happening there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a slider. And I hit it with some pace, and I'm just glad I didn't miss the hole because otherwise it was going to be 10 <laughs> feet down. <laughs> hole number five, 433 yards. I'm going to try to commit to hitting my fade here, and I should have a really good chance of making birdie here. Also, I'm going to tee off on this. Yeah, right. You're married, man. You have a bunch of siblings, right? Close with all of them? Awesome, man. Basketball fan? I am. You like the uh, NBA? What an answer. Well, Iverson. <laughs> Dude, how did you withstand that one? Yeah, <laughs> that was money. <laughs> that was really something. <laughs> I actually got one in the fairway, guys. That feels really good, and I hit it pretty solid too, no spin. So it should be, should be kind of a knuckler. Should roll down there, and give me a wedge in. I feel pretty good about being one over, to be honest, because there are some things that like they say, and it, and the way that my brain works is I'll take it and I'll try to break it down in that moment, and that's obviously not a time to do that. Literally 90 yards on the dot. What's 340 minus 90? 
340 minus 90. You hit that drive 150 yards. Oh, 440. Okay, 200 yards. Makes sense. Should check the Just checking the wind. Let your hair down. You can play from the women's tees. You ever thought about that? Oh, that's a, that's brilliant, actually. We're just helping you at this point. Yeah, I mean, if I was 5'6 and had long hair, that's what I'd be doing. It'd smell like teacher. Did you do the math right? Oh, oh. oh <laughs> wow. Okay, right. almost made it. All right, threw it to the back edge, and I think it came back. I got a decently decent looking birdie here. I love this. So this is awesome. So this thing spun back, literally almost went in the hole. I'm leaving myself in, in positions to be able to, to still manage the course. So I have another uphill pot. I can be aggressive with it. Gosh, man, I feel like I'm almost seeing straight again. Over there, it looks like it breaks. Okay, I'm gonna go straight. Just scrolling TikTok. <laughs> Mike, if you saw two putts like this on the green, would you say that they're like, okay, okay? Or like, Great, great. Yeah. Man, just, uh, there's like, there's. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm going with my gut here. What I think we should start doing, if both people make this putt, we call them putt buddies. That'd be down. Something like that. All right, get this one in the putt hole here. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Sometimes you know. a good old fashioned butt hole joke. <laughs> I mean, is all it takes. Oh. Mm. Woo! Couldn't commit to the line, but I'm one over. I got one hole left. They're, they got me there. They really did. That was a great look at birdie, too. 147 yards, last hole, last chance to make birdie. I mean, I had just a fantastic opportunity on the last last hole, but I just couldn't get comfortable with that putt. I think Mike is a PGA or a live guy. Oh, the shotgun starts fun. Yeah. Probably likes just literal shotguns. Yeah. He drives a diesel truck, so mm -hmm. definitely supporting the gas industry. Mm -hmm. Sports washing and hair washing. <laughs> or maybe he's a PGA guy. We're just uh -huh. speculating. Right. All right. Has to birdie this. Woo! I got a chip in. Yeah, chip of his life here. Here we go. Let's see it. Well, Tex Mex. That is the first time I've missed today on the on the completely wrong side of the hole. Barring a miracle, the job here is done. I'm so confident. I'm not super proud of some things I said in the last tee box, but for the most part, we did do our jobs, and that's what matters. <laughs> we did. And sometimes, you know, it's not going to be pretty. Yeah. You're get an ugly win. Uh huh. We, really <laughs> yeah. do that we scrapped and clawed. We scrapped and clawed. Said what needed to be said. So. Wrap this up. He's not making Watch this. This is what it all comes down to right now. Get me back to even par after six holes, having people just chirping in my ear the whole time. Good lie. Just pop it right in there. All right. It all comes down to Going this. Going the wedge here. I've got a mole on my back. Can you look at it? I'm a little nervous about it. Oh, yeah. Sorry if the glare Sounds... is a lot for the camera. Mm -hmm. It just looks like I'm looking at a starry night. <laughs> no, I think you're fine. OK, cool. You got it. Oh! oh Finished it six holes, one over. That's still yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I lost the challenge. I shot one over. Good job. Good, good job. job to that you, was, man. Dude, you played great. That was awesome. <laughs> that was great. so much fun. One love. over with that. It's pretty spectacular. So thanks, thanks for having us. Yeah, that was awesome. Guys, I mean, first ever like back off challenge or whatever you want to call it on my channel. They won. I, I kind of I would like a rematch in the future sometimes, but Mood Swings Golf, these guys are special in the golf industry. They're starting something new. Make sure you go check out all of their content. Thank you. It is incredible. What you saw today is just a glimpse of what they're doing in the golf community. So make sure and subscribe to their channel, follow their Instagram, and uh, stay tuned for some more stuff we're doing together. Thanks a lot, man. You're the man. Appreciate awesome. all y'all. Thanks for watching. Thank you. I freaking love that. Good <laughs> job.